All right, uh, what's up everybody? So for a few months now, I've had people requesting for me to do a tutorial on how to set up rings for the Saturn Satiator, which is kind of a graphic user interface for the Satiator device. So I had some time, so I figured I'd go ahead and bust out a quick tutorial. Now there's gonna be some files I'm gonna mention and I'm going to have a zip in the description for you to download for everything that we're gonna discuss in this tutorial. And uh, so I guess without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so uh, now that we're at the computer, first thing we're going to do is format the card. So we're going to uh, go to format and allocation unit size. I choose default allocation size. You can label it whatever you want. Um, I label the card Saturn and we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay. And the card is formatted. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and we are going to drag in a few games. And you can set this up any way you want. Uh, on older versions of, of Rings and Satiator or whatever, that um, everything that was on the root directory showed up on your TV screen. But uh, now they've set up a way to hide all the um, working files, so only the games show up on the screen now. So that's pretty cool. So, um, I used to put them all in a uh, games directory, but that's not necessary anymore. But you can do this however you want. You can navigate directories in Satiator, so you could like set up um, different folders for genres like fighting games, RPGs, racing games, so on and so forth. And then within those folders, you can set up subdirectories for like um, arcade racing, simulation racing, um, Japanese RPG, uh, action RPG, things like that. So you can really dial in and um, really set this up how you want it to, to reflect your you know different taste. Now that we have the game set up on the uh, card, we can go ahead and add the uh, Satiator menu file to the root directory as well. And so now if that is set up, we can go ahead and launch the rings configuration tool. And if for whatever reason the site that uh, this talks to is down, um, when you launch it, it could take up to three and a half minutes to fully launch. Um, just launch it, go get a coffee, come back, there's a couple error messages, hit OK, go add some cream and sugar, come back, and, and everything should be fine at that point. Hit another couple of the OKs and you'll be in. So uh, first thing we want to do is open the SD card. Um, so navigate to that, Saturn, OK. And now uh, we have everything on our uh, root directory here. So um, now that, that is all set up, uh, we want to install Satiator Rings. So click install rings. Uh, it's gonna ask you if you wanna install it to that drive, hit okay. And then it's going to uh, set up. So um, now all of our, our files and everything is there. Uh, that error message said that you, if you have a, um, uh, action replay card that's properly set up you can do ABC and start to go back to the main menu um, on the older version of satiator I could never get that to work it may be patched now I don't know um, I'm not gonna fool around with it but you're free to do that if you wish so now that we've got uh, all that set up we want to add some artwork so um, the easiest way is just go to box art scrapers download box arts and all and it's gonna say that it's gonna override everything, even the games already have existing artwork. So, okay. So it's gonna go through, it's gonna check everything, it's gonna do that. Now for whatever reason, um, again, the site is down, this won't work, so you'll have to do it the manual way, which is what I'm gonna show you here. And it was only able to find two of the four artwork. I think the hyphen throws it off, cause that should be a colon, not a hyphen. But that's fine, for the sake of demonstration, we don't need the artwork. So for our Odyssey, we're going to uh, open up our browser. We're going to type in um, our Odyssey Saturn and find a, um, an artwork, and then we'll download it to our uh, computer. So we'll go to add image, and I just put it here in this uh, root directory of the um, Satiator working folder. So hit open, and there's our artwork. Now as for uh, Daytona, uh, I have, and I'm going to provide in a, uh, a zip file, along with all the other files that we're using today, 
um, a North American region cover pack of all the covers for the North American region games. So we'll go ahead and go into that, go down to Daytona USA, and here's the box TGA file. And then we're going to drag that into the root directory of the corresponding game. And if we come back to uh, Satiator Rings, go to Primal Rage, that works, Daytona USA, now that works. So there's all of the artwork, all nice and tidy. So now let's look at the uh, themes. So we can go in here, and right now the, the default theme is blue. I'm going to create a new theme and call this new theme green um, and the font color we're going to change to black background color we're going to um, change to uh, this darker green and then the highlight color we're going to change to uh, more of a kind of a, a sea green so there is that um, so we've got our, our green theme set up as well. So that's really uh, everything we need to know about that. Um, whenever we launch rings, we can choose per game save data. So here we can choose different save slots to get our per game save data. I guess that really works if you're um, practicing speed running and you want to have multiple instances of one save. So you can go to menu and you can change your save slate and it creates a new folder in um, the Satiator Saves folder here. And so, yeah, you could have like multiple files going at the same time of, of our Odyssey and I have to worry about them getting overridden, which is really good. But uh, so now that we're all done, we're going to go ahead and go to File, Exit. OK, so now that that's all done, we'll go ahead and bounce over to the Saturn. Okay, so now we are in the um, main folder. I'm going to go ahead and hit start to go to our options. Um, first thing I'm going to do is change this to 90 because I feel like the audio is just a touch bit too loud. Um, and then uh, we are going to uh, turn per game save slot to zero. We're going to uh, skip the splash screen, that opening animation screen, and we're going to turn file caching on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit save and go back into options and we're going to uh, change our theme to our green. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. And uh, we're also going to change region patching to uh, on. Um, you can have it on or off kind of depending. If you're just strictly running um, the region of the games that you're currently on then you, you can just have it set to off but I have a few Japanese games so I'm gonna set it to on for whatever reason um, it's set to a uh, uh, emulator and for whatever reason whenever we launch it just locks up so uh, we're as I said we're just gonna set that to on okay so I guess we can go ahead and launch a game now um, go ahead and launch Daytona and the first time you launch any game in rings it's gonna take a while to uh, parse and catalog the Q files and all that other stuff but um, this should just be for the first launch and then after that uh, it should be good to go for subsequent launches all right uh, we are here in Daytona USA um, so we can pull off a lap here. Look at this driving. Um, I had that guy in the last video making fun of my driving. It's because the original launch Daytona on Saturn is absolute trash. Um, and the Champion Edition, they changed the handling so much. Look at that. Look at that. We're up to the 20th position. We're now in top 20. Yeah, I know I'm looking good. Because I'm not playing the launch edition. But uh, but anyway, so um, yeah, there's, uh, as you can see, that's that's Daytona. Um, so we'll go ahead and bounce out to back to the menu. And for the uh, sake of demonstration, we'll go ahead and open Daytona back up again so you can see 
that's the subsequent boot, so it's just going to um, immediately jump right back into the action. I do wish that if you hit the reset button, it would reset back to rings, but unfortunately when you hit the reset button, it resets the game. Um, and I, I realize that's just, you know, uh, how Saturn's uh, bios or whatever works, but that's just my only uh, complaint. Go ahead and open Primal Rage. And this one has this cool little video opening sequence. Uh, this is definitely not in the arcade version. The arcade version, the, the story is just text. Dude! Dude! Aww. It's been forever since I played. I don't remember how to get the uh, the super strong attacks. Is it X and Y together? Is that it? Oh, that looked like it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Take that. Okay. Now I guess lastly, let's uh, go ahead and open up uh, Quake. Okay, uh, we are in Quake. That elevator doesn't work that way in on the PC. Uh, you're supposed to be able to turn and then um, it repositions, so it's kind of weird. You're dead. What? Alright, so uh, that is Quake. I hope that uh, that was easy enough for everybody. I just wanted to, again, take a moment to do a quick tutorial. And again, if you have any Photoshop skills or creativity, you can definitely make this a lot more um, exciting. If you want to watch my other video that I uh, did two or three years ago, you can see the extent of what I did. It was nothing, you know, really groundbreaking or nothing, but it did just add a little bit more flair to it. But uh, I guess that's all there is for that. So thanks for watching and peace out.